Hey guys, this is Michael with ActualAxeDude.com. Um, I just wanted to do a quick kind of van tour. Um, I'm kind of long-winded, so it probably won't be that quick. But uh, how I did it is I put everything outside of the van, and then I took a couple um, videos and shots of it, and then I put some of it back in the van. Um, I just don't dare try to film when everything's in the van because it gets super, super full because I have a nine-foot longboard. Well, I guess it's not a super longboard. But I have a uh, surfboard that goes in here also, so it blocks a lot of the light and then blocks a lot of the air and then it just blocks so much. It's a bed hog too, so actually I actually have to arrange my pillows just slightly differently when it's uh, in here. Um, so that's about it. Um, I have, I'll just uh, show you quick clips of the van now. So let's do that now. All right, so for the back, I've already packed it, but um, I have like three of these plastic bins. Um, I have like a winter or seasonal clothing in them, um, and then some seasonal recreational stuff in them also. This is just a big army duffel bag. This is a uh, um, air compressor, just for inflating uh, tires and stuff. Extra lubes and fluids for the van. Got some uh, surfboard wax, surfboard comb, scraper. Got my climbing kit, so just a helmet and harness and stuff. Trekking poles, the seat for my bike. More tools, more tools. I have a backpack in there. And then back behind there I have uh, um, climbing, or correction, uh, bicycling equipment. So pumps and shoes and helmets and all kinds of stuff. This is what the back organizer looks like. And it's a full-size uh, bed. You just get this mattress at Walmart. Um, and then when my dad and I put this wood together, or the, the frame together, we did the, uh, I don't know if you can see him here, the Craig jig thing, and then we glued and, or glued and screwed the entire thing. So it's super mega sturdy. And then this is just a uh, light um, stain that I wiped off. And we actually did it with his back panel too. I'm putting like a table or something on this, so it flips up and down. And then this is where my bicycle is mounted. It's just uh, mounted on the outside. Here's my sticker collection. And then this is where I keep my key when I go surfing, and it's all locked to this uh, Rocky Mount mount um, and woven with a Master Lock Python head lock cable mechanism. Yeah, and that's how I had it. That's where I put everything. It also makes for a handy wetsuit drying rack. And then, uh, pull these down for now. Oh man, I gotta put that board in. Okay. Okay, so here you can see the cooler, and then I just have an old camp stool that I used to use as an instructor. I just set it there. Um, up top, I got my my lovely fake um, plant, and then a little candelabra stick candle thing. It's on a it's a fake candle. It's one of those fake candles on a timer. Really helps set the mood. And then I have my shoe bag. This is actually one of my ex-wife's bag. Hope she doesn't see this. Um, and I literally just keep uh, some shoes in there. I got a pair of hiking boots in front of it that I don't seem to wear a lot in California. Um, have some extra butane bottles here. I just throw my windshield wiper fluid in the door. And then a little fire extinguisher. Put my stinking chacos down here and running shoes on top of it. So it's quick to grab when I go to the, um, the gym. This is where I put one of my hiking chairs. And then coming up here is the bedroom. Um, in this bag, I keep books, so it's basically like my library. In this compartment, I keep uh, 
like t-shirts and just miscellaneous um, jackets. This compartment here is where I keep my, it's t-shirts and pants and uh, board shorts. Socks and underwear, a belt, charger cable. And then here is my pantry. So tortillas, tea, coconut oil, that's always wet and greasy because it's always hot here. Lots of peanut butter, ramen. And then this is like one of my just cupboards. I keep uh, my jet boil up here and some other stuff, a little tripod. And then this is kind of like my little closet. Keep my cowboy hat up there, spare ball caps. Got a windbreaker here. Um, shorts, these are my shorts that I, I, I just keep them up there at night because I sleep naked in the van. So if someone's knocking on the van and I really want to get up and see who it is, I just reach up here, grab them really quick and throw them on. And then uh, there's another like, pantry type. I just normally keep paper towels and plastic bags up here. In this compartment, I just keep all paperwork and spare drugs and glasses and ball caps and stuff and then that's this uh mount window mount and then back here I keep wet wipes my comb this is the vinegar spray solution i use for wiping out my pots some small bags that i throw over my feet to uh, slip into my wetsuit easier here's the smitty's beard wash um slash uh, i use it it's just body soap and then uh wd-40 cures all things Oh yeah, let's show you my pull out. So I did originally have a normal organizer that has like forks, knives, spoons, whatevers. Um, but then I decided to just throw to make it smaller because it was taking up space and I really wanted to fit my pan in there so I wouldn't always have to be fishing it out. So I just keep some miscellaneous drugs up here, uh, hand sanitizer, soap, and then drugs, keep my open nail here and then some matches a lighter coffee maker more drugs coffee from spartan brews coffee company um my plates four plates four bowls got a couple uh cutting boards a nicer cutting board for instagram stuff fire stick wine glasses wine opener check out this cool beer bottle opener that my brother had made it's made out of a 50 cal round looks like a whistle but it's not so a can open and then uh yeah that's it for that and then how i secure that so it doesn't come slamming open it's just a simple little hook thingy that i always forget to open until i go around that first corner yeah so that's the front of the van sleeping area of the van this is where i keep my laptop and then all the spare keys for different things like motorcycles bike locks jeeps friends houses stuff like that Keep a headlamp there also. Um, down here is where I keep my stove. I'll show that in another video. And then this is just where I keep a beach mat. Um, I'll like fold that out in half and then do yoga on it. And then uh, this is just another bin that I keep um, like the jet boil fuel in, some bottles, stuff like that. I think it's it for the inside. So let me show you my Primo water bottle or water bottle filler upper so it just goes on normal uh, primo um, water can and it's electric it's rechargeable usb just hit the button fills it up look at that filling it up just pumping that water in and you just touch it to stop it's great for camping it's great it's great for a van and i just keep it up front with me so uh i can get some water whenever i want then I just put the lid back on drop it right in the spot Here's where I keep my um, fitted sunshade for, for, well that's bright, for the front window. And then uh, I keep my fan down there. It's a 12 volt fan, I just plug in um, whenever the AC isn't keeping up. Five gallon bucket, just the extreme emergency toilet. I've only used it once and it was extreme emergency. Hashtag bad Indian food. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, my bag organizer. This big Lululemon bag is my catch-all bag. I literally throw everything in there. I got extra straps in there, a power strip converter, got some nuts that don't belong in that bag necessarily. But it's a catch-all bag, so that's where I throw stuff. This bag is like a junk drawer bag. Um, got my jump book, a jump log, a 
mustache wax, like GoPros down there, and some uh, these adhesive strips. Those are really handy for van life. This is my pantry bag. All I have down there is an onion, a bag of rice, and some granola. And then my other pantry bag, I have uh, all kinds of delectable Smitty's Beard sauces. If you guys don't know what that is, you're going to have to go there, go to the website yourself. Um, it's uh, smittysbeardsauce.com. Got some olive oil, some quick, quick potatoes, a little more olive oil in a squirt bottle, some gels when I go hiking and stuff. That's in that pantry bag. This is my cleaning closet bag. Got some wipes, some Windex, vinegar, some dish soap, and then the dish soap thingy, you know, handle thingy. And this is my laundry or shower bag. So I just have my quick dry towel in there, some board shorts, and then my toiletries kit. A hammock, little first aid kit. This is a trauma kit, so this is like, if I need to administer chest tubes or start pound, pushing curlex into people. My uh, micro spikes, my dirty laundry bag with soap. And then this is my uh, closet bag, so it's just got a jacket in there. And then this bucket that I don't use anymore for popcorn. I just keep um, all the Myers Clean Day spray in. And there's a little pee, bot pee bottle and then the, the little uh, snap link I do with it. So all of the bags I just hook onto this hook because I just tied to the back of my seat headrest. And then uh, it just sits here and just kind of swings around like a big pendulum. Not too much because some of the bags touch. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, and this is what it looks like when it's got all the stuff on it. I know it looks like a big bag of something, but it's just lots of littler bags of many things. So, it works. And this is where I keep that popcorn bucket that is not a popcorn bucket anymore. And then this is where I keep my cooler. I think I told you guys that though. Um, and how I uh, pull the cooler out when I'm pulling it, I just move the bucket out of the way. Just undo that, uh, hook it there. Set my chair out of the way. Now I'll pull the cooler out, get whatever I need to get out of it, put it back, and you have to be really disciplined and make sure you put stuff up the way it should be. I'm gonna do it, but I can't do it one-handed, so just trust me. And it's done, so there you go. Um, and then I just take this and I stick it back in there. Oh, man, I can't do this one with this hand either. And that's what it looks like when I've done it. Um, and that's how I just uh, keep everything from sloshing and flying around. It uh, it helps. And then this is where I put the laundry bag. That's where I hang my shower kit. And down below here is where I hang my trauma kit, my first aid kit, and my uh, I don't know if you can see it back there, but my hammock. And then everything else. It fills up quick, folks. And then this is where the toolbox goes. So I just uh, slap the toolbox down. I'll a couple chunks of wood underneath it to level it out and then I put a uh, ratchet strap around it so it doesn't become a metal wrecking ball when I slam on the brakes. And it works out pretty good. Uh, and I can still reach up into the top to grab a little stuff if I need to. Um, and then everything else is just locked into the retention bar. So it's all secure except for this thing. It just rolls around like a big thing dangling. Now let me show you what it looks like when I put the board in. Get ready. Ugh. This is what it looks like when you put a 9 foot board in a standard conversion van. Kind of fills it up a little. So this is why I didn't originally start off shooting the video with everything packed in it. It is full. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this fast and furious tour of my house, my van, my house van, camper van, hashtag van life. Um, you can follow me on thatchillaxdude.com, even though I don't write that much, or anywhere on social media at thatchillaxdude, or you can follow the hashtag thatchillaxdude hashtag or you can support the channel if you'd like um, on Patreon. So it's patreon.com forward slash that schlacks dude. That's all I've got. I've got a 
brother and his family waiting for me at the beach. Uh, I'll talk to you later, and I'll see you when I see you.